We will now show you the methods for sharpening a radius end mill. It is important that all the steps are carried out carefully and in order, as each setting is critical to achieving the correct geometry. We will first sharpen a full ball end mill. The first step is to properly calibrate the radius attachment using the center finder. Place the quarter inch setting pin with a flat in the fixture using a quarter inch 5C collet. The pin's flat side should be down and horizontal to the table. Remove the black plug from the pivot hole. Loosen the screw in the setting ring on the center finder and set the center finder in to the height of the fixture spindle center line by bringing the top of the center finder to touch the underside of the setting pin. Tighten the screw in the setting ring. Rotate the setting pin so the flat side is now vertical. Turn the cross slide dial until the center finer touches the flat side. If the cross feed dial does not read zero at this point, loosen the two set screws in the dial, rotate it until it reads zero, and tighten the set screws. Adjust the indicating arrows on the face of the cross slide underneath the collet opening so that they line up when the dial is at zero. You need to use a cup wheel and a freshly and insert your end mill into the fixture. With the flutes parallel to the table, it's very critical that the flutes are parallel to the table. Push the index pin into the slot which corresponds with the number of flutes. Set the clearance angle of the motor spindle to the appropriate primary first grind angle. The secondary will not be necessary. Using the machine's Y-axis handle, touch the grinding wheel to the OD of the end mill. Do not touch this handle for the duration of the process. Back the end mill away from the wheel to the right side using the fixture's X-feed handle until you can swing the fixture 90 degrees without hitting the wheel. Now swing the radius attachment 90 degrees so the end mill now faces the wheel. The 90 degree stop pin will stop it at the correct position. Using the machine's X axis handle, maneuver the table until the center of the end mill is in front of the edge of the grinding wheel and turn the motor on. Slowly advance the tool to the wheel using the fixture's X handle and swiveling the fixture back and forth at the same time. When you start making contact, stop advancing and swing the radius the full 90 degrees.
Feed into the wheel until you are grinding on all sides of the radius. Do not take too much off. At this point, note the dial reading on the fixture's X handle and bring the end mill away from the wheel one or two turns. Index to the next flute and sharpen the other side. Remembering not to feed past the dial reading that you stopped at on the first flute.